We're at the Allport UK conference in Siena. A combination of doctors, patients, pharmaceutical representatives, anybody who has their hand in researching, diagnosing or treating Allport syndrome. We work very closely with the local team from Siena University, the Molecular Genetics Unit, and we've put the whole event together. Today has been filled with a lot of different science presentations to talk about all of the research going on at literally every corner of the world. Well, it's rather unique to have uh, both patients and uh, scientists and the physicians all in one room. I find it pretty exciting. I've been involved in planning and participating in a number of clinical trials that are ongoing in Alport syndrome and I want to know um, kind of what's coming next. So that's important for me to see some of the basic science work that's being done that you know maybe five or ten years away from going into clinical trials but um, knowing that there's a pipeline there is important. My knowledge about Alport syndrome is uh, progressed uh, when I uh, participate in this uh, workshop. It's the communication that's before the publications that's critical for us in crafting new questions and advancing our science. What's been brilliant about the workshop here in Siena is that patients and families have been able to go and visit the lab and the setup here and they want to share their own research. They're really keen to be part of the community and to invite the community to their own environment to be able to demonstrate their local setup. We worked a lot in the past on the diagnosis and, uh, and up to the next generation sequencing uh, through which uh, now we have a very good, very strong possibility to diagnose. Then, in the meanwhile, several techniques were discovered by which we are now able to perform gene therapy in a number of rare genetic disorders. I think so inspiration and talk to the expert and especially talk to uh, many patients come from different countries. I think it is important for me in order to do a great job uh, to know what Albert is from a patient's uh, perspective and that's why I think this workshop is so important. They give us a very high motivation to do the research. When I first arrived, I wanted to meet more people like me because obviously I hadn't actually met anyone yet. Um, and I really want to learn more about the diseases. I was only diagnosed last year. I'm just feeling so much more comfortable with myself and knowing that these people share the same illness as me and that I'm joining a big group that's helping other people feel more comfortable with their disease. It's not really common for young people to develop deafness early in life, so the ability to talk to people that have had the same problems, I think that's really important. Our daughter has recently been diagnosed with Ulfport syndrome. My wife and I are very aware that it's very hard to understand how the, uh, the syndrome is going to progress over the years, so we're uh, trying to understand it all. To be rubbing shoulders with the experts and to see them interact gives a lot of confidence that something is being done and I think we've got the best people engaged in that. I think if there were more funding for Alport research, more people would gravitate towards Alport syndrome as a primary research objective. The more people that get involved, the more people that are attending, the more people that are engaged, the more likely it is that we're going to make progress very rapidly on Alport Syndrome research.